Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode, we got these cool amazing parts right here in my hand and basically what these are are some wall chargers and use to charge up your devices. Whether you want to use it to charge your phone, your iPad, your computers, laptops, or anything else. As long as it supports the USB-C cables, then definitely use it on here. So you can see we got two of them right here and both of them has the newest technology on here. One of them only has one output right here and the other one right here has two of them. So before we talk more about the product itself, let me actually open up the product to show you guys what's included inside first. So we'll start with this one right here first. I definitely love the way how they design the packaging itself right here for easy opening. So I'm gonna open it up. That is basically what the inside looks like right there. So let's take it out. So they provide you guys a little thank you card right here. And they provide you guys this card right here to let you guys know that for their products, they actually use the brand new technology. If I can see the brand new GAN technology. So if you can see, this is basically what the product looks like right here. Let's take it out. All right, so once you take it out, you can see how small it is. It's literally so small and the maximum power on here is 30 watts. So this is basically what the front part looks like right here. So you don't plug in the cable right here to power on your device and charge it. This is what the side looks like right here. If we take a look at the back part here, they do have a foldable design for the plug outlet right here. So I push it down. That's how you guys use it. And when you're done using it, push it back up. So like I mentioned, for the brand new GAN technology that's in the charger right here and a lot of other chargers out there in the market today, basically what that technology is helpful for for the product, it actually helps the product itself cool down much faster. It actually helps the product charge much faster and safer as well. And using this brand new technology, they don't need so much space for the actual charger itself. That's why it's so tiny right here compared to the bigger chargers out there in the market today. And using one of these small little blocks right here, you can definitely charge it at full speed for your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop, MacBook. So definitely really cool how such a small device can produce a lot of power. And obviously for this product, if it can charge at the maximum speed, it actually will be using the power delivery option as well, which is pretty cool. So this is the first one that we have right here. Before we actually test it out, I want to show you guys the other one as well. So right here is the other one. If I can see the packaging is basically the same thing. If we open it up, that's basically what the inside looks like right there. Let's take it out. So inside this package, they do provide you guys a little thank you card as well. And then right here, we have the actual product itself. If I can see it's pretty small as well, but let's take it out. All right, so right here, we have the product. Let's open it up. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like right here. So this is the front part right here. If I can see, they have the two outlets right here, USB-C and USB-C. They do have a little indicator light right here to show you guys when the product itself is working. This is what the side looks like on this side. If we turn on the other side, this is what it looks like on this side. And the back right here is a plug outlet, which is a foldable design as well. So we pull it down. That's how you guys use it. And when you are done, push it back up. And for this charger, it's a little bit stronger. It is a 40 watt. But if you guys are planning to just use one of them at a time, the maximum output for one of these output right here is 30 watt. So it basically works the same way as these right here, but you guys have two of these outlets right here. And obviously for this product, it has the same technology as well. So it has the GAN technology. So faster charging, less heat, cools down faster, and definitely much more smaller than other devices that can do the same charge. So if you guys were planning to use this to charge like two iPhones at the same time, you can definitely get the same speed and the maximum speed for both iPhones using this charger. To give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see this is basically what it looks like. Probably this one's a little bit bigger, but it's basically almost the same thing. And it has the same foldable design for the plug outlet right here, which is pretty cool. So it definitely will save a lot of space. But that's basically what the product looks like right here. But now let's actually go test it out to see how well it works and whether or not actually it actually works first. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so right here we got a bunch of devices plugged in. So we're gonna test the one with a single USB-C first, and then we're gonna test out the other one afterward. So as you see right here, I also have a digital multimeter to check the voltage and everything on the product itself when we use it. So right here, I have it plugged into the actual device right here. Let me plug this one in here. All right, so it does work. Let's see the voltage on here. So why are we using this cable to charge our phone? You can see that's the voltage and amp and everything else. So right now my phone is around 60%, so that's why it's not charging as fast as where we want it to be. Now let me just try to unplug it and we'll use the other one and test that one out as well. All right, so we'll unplug this one right here and try the other one right here. Plug in our tester. So obviously from a tester, I can only plug in one since I only have a USB or USB-C option right here. So let's plug in the first one here first. All right, so it does work. Let's take a look at the voltage. All right, so that's basically what the voltage is and everything else. Let's try to plug in the other cable and see what happens when we plug in two devices at the same time. All right, so you can see that it's charging right there. And you can also see the blue indicator light right there to show you guys when it's charging. But in terms of the charging speed, you can see it's about the same. So obviously, if you guys want to get the fastest charging option, you do want to make sure that your phone is at the lowest percentage. If it's around like 60, 70, or 80%, 
it does slow down a little bit so it doesn't charge as fast as where we want it to be. But even the touch itself, all of them actually does work. And you can definitely use two at the same time or use one at a time for this one right here. And welcome back guys. So I guess all the quick test upon itself you guys can see that actually does work and actually works quite well. Super easy to use. Literally all you need to do is just plug it into the wall outlet or whatever and start charging your device. Whether you guys are using it for your iPhone, iPad, uh, your MacBooks, anything. Like I mentioned earlier, as long as the product itself is compatible to the USB-C charger outlets, then you guys can definitely use it on here. So now that we can unboxing and testing the product itself, not to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for me, honestly, I definitely have to say that these charger or any other chargers that's similar to these are definitely gonna be super worth it. If you guys wanna use it for a faster charging speed that can also produce less heat and it's much smaller as well compared to other chargers out there that doesn't have the same technology. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.